I'm the old bat. And that's the old bug. Oh, all right, we're going to grab the chassis now. Oh. Much easier. There's one of the bolts that snapped off when I removed it. Gotta fix that. So I'm gonna just clean everything up, take all the tarboard off. I'm gonna um, take the pedal assembly off. I'm gonna cut a little access hole because all the gurus do that so that I can put it back on without driving myself nuts. And so my next step is going to be to remove all of the rear suspension and the transmission or transaxle. And it's dangerous because you have to really be careful when you do these spring plates. And uh, so I will definitely be careful. All right, so I think first I want to remove the brake lines and then you know, like I said in my last video, I'm going to save those and so I can use them as templates for the new one. And so I'm excited. All right. Okay, we're going to take off the pedal assembly. 17 millimeter. came off nice and easy. Disconnect this. Okay. And then the clutch cable is in there. That has to get disconnected too. And this just comes right out of there. And Mr. Slade said, don't adjust this. This looks like I'm doing something. Here we go. Poop. Find the clutch cable. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I can see why you want to get an access thing. Okay, groovy. So that's out of the way. And I'm just going to put these bolts right back in here. You can see in there because the crumple guard is off. Cool. Okay, and then I need to get these brake lines off as carefully as possible because like I said, I'm going to use them as templates. Talk about years and years of crap under there, huh? I wonder if the pedals have ever been off. Okay, let me uh, get set up for the next shot. Okay, let's see if I can get this 
And I know I'm supposed to have um, flare wrenches or something like that. So let's first just try this and then we'll see. That oh, was an 11 millimeter. I'm getting dizzy when I get up. I'm gonna need my cheater bar. There we go. Lovely. Okay. I was stupidly didn't save those brake lines. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to bend them without a template. You can learn, right? I'm gonna break it or bend it. Okay, good. All right, now let's loosen this other end of that um, brake line. Nice. That's out. So now I need to loosen up the lines along the tunnel here. They're in with clips and grossness. Okay, so this is the brake line that goes from the rear junction T or whatever you call this thing. It goes up through there, it goes down into there and comes out over here at this where there's a little grommet. And then it goes along the tunnel all the way over here kind of halfway underneath the pedal cluster and then out over there so let's go over there make sure I capture that so it goes all the way around over here out there and to the master cylinder all right okay so I've already loosened up this tab so now this is loose right here. So I'm gonna to need to go over here now. And loosen that one up. And there's all kinds of gook over here. Like the part when it's easy to get All right, let's do it. Let's do it to it. So there's some slack over here. I'm thinking, yeah, that works. Okay. Get it off of there. There we go. <sighs> So that's okay. This part at the end where it goes into the master cylinder. I think it's okay if I have to bend that 
as I go. But here it comes. Ah, oh, look at that. I got it. My template. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, see if you can see it, right there on the end, I'm going to put a baggie, zip tie a baggie to the end and say, Master Cylinder. So I know that's where that end goes, just in case. So you don't need to see that. I'm going to start loosening up everything. I'm going to try to keep all this together so I don't have to think too hard. This is a 10. Okay. Okay. No. Put on your glasses, Trixie. Make sure my mic is on. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Now I need to take these clips off. I think I have to loosen those, though, don't I? These elevens, like everything else. Yep. Maybe I don't have to loosen it. Okay, let me get the flathead and get the uh, little brackets bent up. Okay, so there's one here. guys off and I think it'll all be removable. I got plenty of persuasion going on here. And let's just go like this and move it around a little bit. back down and put a baggie with a post-it note that this goes on the driver's side. Okay, so I just get a little baggie, put a note inside, and then zip tie it to whatever it is it belongs to. 
And of course, you don't have to do it on both sides, because obviously, if one's the driver's side, the other one is the passenger side. All right, into storage it goes. Right now, I'm going to see if I can take the rear brake drums off. And um, I know you're supposed to have a bar that you bolt into there and then it keeps it from turning. But I've seen some people do it without having to do that. So I'm going to try that first. And then if I have to, I will make one of those things. I know you can buy them, but they seem pretty easy to make. And I'm going to do it. Okay. Ow. Ow, that hurts. There we go. All right. Out with you. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to try to tighten up the emergency brake just a little bit and see if I can get this thing loose. If not, then I will have to make a tool. Okay, let's see what happens. This is a three-quarter inch cheater bar. Breaker bar, to be exact. Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> I can't believe it. I thought for sure I was going to have to make that tool. I'm probably, I'm of course going to probably have to do it for the um, flywheel, but look at that baby, man. That was satisfying. Now the big question is going to be if I can get this thing off without a puller. If I need a puller, I shall go get a puller. Cool. Okay. Okay, so these are the two holes where you can adjust the little star thingies. I don't know what they're called. Uh, so, it didn't say in the Bentley which direction makes them tighter, but you can just figure it out by, by uh, feeling the brakes. Now that's definitely tighter, so we want to go the other way. I need a smaller screwdriver. There we go. Oh, wait a minute, why is that not tighter? What's tighter? What's not? Okay, so that's spinning. I'll just keep going down. Ugh. It's actually coming off a little bit. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Well, that's the ticket, isn't it? Let's see. People show, 
look at these things and think, oh, it's good shape. So <laughs> I don't know if this is in good shape or not, but I will find out. I hope it is. Well, that was easy. That's the ticket right there. Okay, so now I get to take that apart and remove everything. So let's do that. All right, let's look at these, these brakes for a second here. So I get it. So here's the E cable, emergency brake or parking brake, whichever flutes your boat. Those are the things I was turning on the other side to make the brake drums go in more, which very much helped. And so now I'm going to just take all this apart and remove everything and then take off the backing plate and uh, go from there. All right. So these are like slant, uh, ramped up on here. I just noticed that they ramp up. Let's see if you can see that. Where's my camera? There it is. See that? How this goes? This is. So if you look at this right here. And then look at the other side, see how thicker it is? So I'm sure that has, uh, you need to know why that is. Uh, got a fly flying around. Look at, these things are just coming right on out. Perfect. Not this one though. There we go. Get you out of there. Okay. All right. So, e cable. How does that come out? Let me consult my Bentley. Okay. So yes, it is the this thing here that needs to be replaced. I mean, not replaced. Loosened up so I can get that e brake off. Ugh, I think. Yeah, 14. Okay, so let's see how this works. Okay, I'm going to need some persuasion. Maybe try from the other side. It's weird, is that it's almost like. Maybe that's supposed to, is that welded in, I betcha, huh? Okay, that's good. Oh, it's in my hand. 
There we go. All right. I know there's an easier way. There has to be, because everything is easy on this thing. I just could have used YouTube, I suppose, and found a video on how to do this. But now you get to see me do struggle. Doesn't that sound like fun? Okay, let's get rid of the, I mean, loosen up the brake lines, continue with that. That off. All right. Okay, let's get these shocks off. Good. Let's get some out of there. Is that going? Alrighty. That one's just going to slip on out of there. Perfect. that sleeve something I should keep. I'm gonna, I'll keep everything before I decide to pitch anything. There we go. Okay, now the other side. I'm on the driver's side now. out easy enough. All right, we're going to be taking off these bolts and those bolts. These are 19s, I believe, and they have a bolt on the back, too, so you have to do both. Okay. Okay. And I know, very dangerous, these guys. They're sitting on this lip right here, and if they move off the lip, they're going to go and smack down. So I'm very well aware of that. Okay. 
Okay, we got everything. I can go this way here. Okay, okay go. Oh, man. Bending down is not my favorite thing to do. I can't believe I'm really doing this. Sometimes I just think, oh my god, I'm doing this. It's pretty exciting. This one, that one, on here. Okay. So, thin washer, thick washer. High as it can go. All right, here we go. Just take a good look at it. Make sure. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of room. Does that need to be loosened first? I think it does. I think it does. Let me double check. I'm gonna look at my video and just double check. Okay, yeah, so these gotta get loosened up and this comes off. Perfect. That's supposed to be like that, a dent. That's why it's having trouble coming off. It's a yumminess in there. All right. So I'll be sure to label this as passenger side. And now, is the time I smack that little puppy. So I'm gonna step over here. I need to be under the car. Mm. 
<sighs> Doesn't it seem like that is keeping it from going off? Then you're supposed to scribe a line to keep track of where things are. And he just pulled it off with his hands. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to do that. There it goes. And then you got to be very careful. Ugh! You don't mess up that torsion rod in the back. Okay, that's where it was. That's the position of the torsion rod or tube. Torsion rod, I think, on the passenger side. Okay, let's get the seal out of there. They really made good stuff back then. I mean, this has to be the original, right? No one's done this yet. And it's still pliable. Although I'm going to get new ones of these. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, let's get this IRS part off. I mean, I think this is the axle, but I've heard people call this the axle. So, I'm not sure which is which, but... Anyway, this is what we're taking off right now. And uh, I know you're supposed to do this. Now I know, I didn't know it before, but uh, before you take the wheel off, because if you turn this, it just spins this thing. So I put a little nail in here so that this can stay on there. And I'm gonna just do that. And I got my little kit, where to go? Into Never Neverland. Oh, here it is. Of these things, these minor um, are star bolts. I think that's what they're called. It's Twelve point, twelve point bolts. And I think this is the size. Let me just double check. Nope, small. One bigger. Yep, that's the size right there. And I've sprayed everything with brake clean to try to clean out the gunk in there. And uh, didn't seem to do a lot of good. Let me get my little pick. And I don't think I want, these boots seem really good, but I can't bring myself to not replace them. I don't think. Let me just leave them on there for right now. Okay, here we go. Let's get this puppy off. I'll please teeter bar if I need it. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Nice. That worked. The boots definitely get in the way. I can loosen that with my hands. And I make have to make sure I label this. Why don't I do that right now? <laughs> 
So I just put a little post-it note inside a little baggie and zip tie it. And then of course when I'm cleaning this, I'll take it off, but I'll keep it, you know, track of what's what. Okay. All right. I'm tempted to just cut the boots off because I just don't think I'm going to keep them. But they're in really good, good shape. Well, I, I just have to trust my gut and not cut them. All right, so this one is loose. Okay, so when I took this off, this was there. So those two go like that. And I'm assuming, yeah, it looks like another one's there. So they connect together like that. Oops. Yeah, right there. I'll just keep that in mind. And there's already a scar. I don't, it probably doesn't matter which pair you pair up, but that's that. Okay, so my Bentley says to do everything I just did and then remove it. So that makes me think it should just pop off. I'm not sure where though. You probably should watch this Slade video. All right, Slade just said, give it a smack. So I can do that. Give it a smack. You just like. <laughs> give it a smack. Hmm. Hmm. Well, my smack is not as powerful as his smack, but maybe I should put a jack over here so this doesn't move around. Let's try that. There it goes. Little smackaroonie. Okay, now you gotta cooperate and come off the other side. There we go. Fun! Oh, look at that yumminess. Well, we know it was packed. That's a good sign. Fun! All right, I'm gonna get this off now. with my hammer. Darn it. So maybe if I loosen it, I can... There we go. That's the... Okay, let me get my cheetah bar. take it out too far because I'll never get this off. Kind of wondering if I'll be able to get it off now. Okay, let's get this part off at least. There we go. All right, what am I going to do here? Maybe I do need to make my own tool. Darn.
Kelly, okay? Like I said, I loosened it, so let's let that cool off and see how it works. Okay, let's see if my little tool me is going to work. Got a little bit of weld on it, but I'm sure it'll hammer right pretty good. Okay. we go. Boom, boom. I'm put some free off. All the stuff I'm doing on this side is making it, it's going to be really easy to do the other side. Okay, it comes out now. Track! Okay. Perfect! Okay, there's this monstrosity. All taken out. And I think I'm done on this side. Now I got to do the whole thing on the other side. Sounds like fun. All right, now we're on the driver's side. So let's get these guys off, just like we did the other side. What am I doing? <laughs> I haven't done the spring plate or anything on this side yet. Oops! Okay, let's take off this spring plate. Weighty, 
away it goes. Like that. Not hitting it. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> so I'm I'm not gonna just rely on this line here. You know I'm gonna. Level the chassis and do all that with the with the uh, calipers or what else? What do you call those things? Angle finders? I don't know what it is. But anyway, I'll get to that. <laughs> okay, so I want to get this lined up again. It's in the right spline. Now it's like almost upside down like that. Well, there's a lot of technical stuff that goes along with doing this part. So I'm going to be refreshing my brain cells a lot about that. Okay, so I'm going to now put a little post-it note uh, that's in a baggie around the end of this and mark it and move on! Alright, now we're ready to take this off. Pick out the gunk. Look at all that. Ugh. Admit it is rather satisfying to get all that out of there. Look at that one. Yay! I'm not sure what happened, but I lost all the footage of removing that last uh, drive shaft and the trailing arm or uh, diagonal arm, as you may call it, uh, from the other side there. Uh, but it's basically a duplicate of what I've already shown you. So I have a lot of footage that I'm working on, and uh, my hope is to get some videos out sooner th uh, rather than later. Instead of having three weeks before them, I'd like to have it maximum two weeks or so. So stay tuned. Please like, subscribe, and comment.